Hey everybody, it's Infinity here. Um, I am back with another kind of channel video, back with my webcam, you know. I kind of like doing these videos with my regular camera, but eh, sorry for the light behind me. It's super bright. I've tried to block it out with my head. I don't know what to do. It's, um, it's annoying me, but I'm going to ignore that for now. I have a few things, but first of all, welcome to all my new crafties that have like just recently subscribed so about a week ago I'm looking yeah a week ago I um I posted a video thanking you guys for the 285 of you that my ginger ale 285 of you that subscribed and continue to support me that's just totally awesome and thank you for helping me reach this point um two people really 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 I want to say thank you to our um, Miss Jane from Scraptastic Yarns she's like she's like one of the first people outside of my circle like my friends and family who has like shouted me out and actually kind of you know what am I trying to say <laughs> it's been a full week of talking I do new student orientations and stuff where I work so uh, yeah it's been busy but Thank you so much, Miss Jane, for shouting me out and checking out my content and subscribing. I really appreciate that. Um, I will be leaving the links to her YouTube channel down below in my description. Um, and I also want to say a big thank you to Miss Kim over at Classy Kim's Crochet Group. She is awesome as well. She um, jumped on board. Actually, Miss Jane introduced her to my channel via shout out and she's just been talking back and forth with me which is really cool i usually don't have that so it's a welcome change and i really enjoy the correspondence the shout out the mutual support and that's one thing that i really like about the crochet community like everybody's a big close-knit family um some of you guys might notice that i'm not in the about crochet group anymore over on facebook i guess they dropped me i don't know i guess like i guess posting tutorials was a bad thing sorry <laughs> um but you can still find my videos via of course my youtube page um, that you're watching right now as well as facebook not so much on instagram but i should really plug more on instagram i just don't <laughs> i just don't i need to though so let me like drink my ginger ale because does anybody else like ginger ale it's like one of my favorite sodas but anyway okay so um, I guess today, pardon me, I really wanted to make an update. Sorry about the crochet along. I know in the first part I said around Tuesday, um, it looks like it's going to be more of a Friday thing. Sorry, I'm trying to move my, like, lunch. It's been a long day. But it looks like it's going to be around Friday. Um, for those of you guys who haven't seen my post, I think, on the Facebook page, it's going to be either Friday evening or Saturday morning. Um, this doesn't affect anything else on my upload schedule. Everything else is just up there. My art videos, my crochet tutorial for this week, which I think is Granny Squares this week. So if you don't know how to do Granny Squares and you want to learn how, that's this Sunday at 9.30 CST, Central Standard Time. Um, and then Saturdays are my artsy Saturdays. I post my art process videos and or tutorials. I still need to get that Van Gogh thing edited. I just, I haven't taken the time to do that. I think I've had like a couple hours to go through it, but I really like to sift through and make sure my videos are right. Um, so this is what I have so far. Now when I posted earlier, I had 25 rows. I got a little more than that now. I haven't bothered to count it because I like, I was like on the minute <laughs> on time for work today because I've gotten to my knitting and I got lost. So there we go. But they don't too much care. They love me. Um, so I might have, I want to say 27 stitches. I wanted to let you guys know that you count stocking stitch much differently than garter stitch. So I would make it like comparable. Um, the garter stitch is more like a single crochet and the stockinette stitch is more like a half double crochet. If you've learned how to crochet first, that's kind of how I compare them. So it takes more to build it takes about the same amount of energy to build the stockinette stitch but you don't have as many stitches because like on the back this looks like all garter stitch and so every time that you have these um you can see these bars on your garter stitch that counts for two rows yeah okay 
So, you know, when I had like two inches of fabric, I'm like, oh, I have 40 inches. No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm working on that. Like 25, 26, maybe 27 rows at this point. So, like I said, it should be soon. Because I know I have work tomorrow. So, we'll see. I'll get it done, though. And again, if you're if you haven't tuned into the knit along that I started, it's there. I can probably link it at the end of this video. Um, I'm using landscapes, Lion Brand landscapes. So if you want to follow it verbatim, you use this yarn. Um, I had like six or seven balls, maybe six and a half balls. Well, not balls. They're skeins. They're skeins. I have six and a half skeins, something like that. I still need to put the waistband in that skirt over there because it's hanging on by a piece of ribbon, maybe some T-pins. need to get around to that, but I have time. I can do that, like, overnight, so that's fine. Um, I'm also using 8 millimeter knitting needles to accomplish this gauge that I have cast on right here. So, again, if you're trying to follow on a long verbatim, go ahead and check that out. Um, if you're going to be making a large slash extra large size, you're going to want to cast on 170 blah 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 you can find that in the video that I'll link at the end um, speaking of lion brand so the well not the even the other day a couple weeks ago I um I went on the site because I saw a post in Miss Kim's group and lion brand had this amazing sale going on where you could get five balls of shawl in a ball for ten dollars ten dollars guys that was amazing so you know i was kind of on the broke side but i'm like i'm gonna splurge i'll be it's worth it and so i did it and i'm like even though i have no place to put it well i do now but i had no place to put it and i'm like eh. okay so i got five different colors and put in my order way back on the let me check so many emails uh back on the july 27th so i put in this order on july 27th and so today is august 7th and i'm just like tra -la -la, where the heck is my package i want my yarn so <laughs> um i sent an email to their what support customer support thing this morning before i went to work it was like five something in the morning so they got back to me around 10 55 of course i wasn't here and it reads hi infinity I'm very sorry, but your request is currently on back order until approximately 11-8-2019. Why? <laughs> we did not expect the back order to be this extended and apologize for the inconvenience. We hope you will be able to wait, but if you have changed your mind with regard to this order, just let us know and we will be happy to credit you and cancel the order warm regards so this was really cool it was really prompt and i appreciate that because they did initially say three to five business days so i'm very grateful that they got back to me sooner <sighs> i'm not very happy though that i have to wait till almost my birthday <laughs> for five balls of yarn but but i look on the bright side um i do have plenty of yarn in my stash and i have plenty of projects lined up. I think I have seven. Let me find my chesty little. I have a little um, desk monitor stand thing now that I just got and I set it up and so I don't have to like drop my chair to get my full face in my camera now. So that's great. Um, I have I have like nine projects lined up. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Well, yeah, you can. I wrote it in silver ink, and I don't know why. It's just pretty. So, I have nine different projects. Um, at least, let me see. One, two, three. Three of them are in progress. One of them, two of them. Okay, let me look at this. Hmm. Okay, so this one's actually complete. I have two complete. I am writing out the pattern for two of them and once I copyright them and all that I will publish them of course. Um, both of these are probably going in my Etsy shop to be honest. I haven't decided yet. One of them is a knitting pattern. I've never written out a knitting pattern. I just kind of go off my head with my knitting so that's why knit alongs are kind of perfect for me with Okay, so. Um, but the other one is crochet and it goes along with a tutorial that should be posting on the end of September 
I don't know when that's slated for either. I'm all off. So let me look at my calendar here. Oh, I was very off. It's at the end of October. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking about a video, I think, in September that I haven't done yet. But anyway, so I have plenty of fun projects and hopefully make-alongs. I'm still trying to decide on some of these if I'm going to do a make-along for them. Um, I don't know. But the whole shawl in the ball thing, it's not really going to put a rain on anything. Um, the one shawl pattern that I am going to experiment with, it has nothing to do sorry it has nothing to do with those skeins of yarn I was actually going to get one of my variegated yarns and test out the workings of my idea so I look forward to implementing that coming up but other than that everything is pretty pretty okay I mean like I've been like just so stressed out lately so stressed out uh but hopefully stuff will start looking up soon I know he's just being overthinking, but anywho, I think I'm going to go out Friday and I don't really want to tell you guys what I'm going to do because I want to do a video on it and I don't want to spoil that, but I think it's going to be super fun, 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 I can't talk, like I said, long week, but it's going to be super fun and I think one of my friends is going to accompany me, so that's going to be great, but yeah, so that pretty much wraps up today's video, uh, thanks for tuning in. I think next time I do one of these channel chats, I may or may not um, use this webcam. I don't know. I like my webcam, but this light behind me is just so terrible. It just, I can't get over that. It doesn't show up like that in my other camera, so I'm just like, I've cleaned this thing, so it's not the camera, it's that. <laughs> but anywho, it's not the same resolution, because I think I get 60 frame rates per second or something on my... DSLR and then I get like up to 30 on this one maybe 50 if I changed my resolution again but it's like angry at me it's like oh it's not sufficient I'm like yes it is would you stop <laughs> so it's really just a hardware thing you can probably see my big roving blanket back there I'm making good progress I have a few balls left I don't know how many I have left in the bag I don't know if I actually posted about that project, but it was supposed to go up in March, but that semester got really real on me, and I'm just like, you know what, my GPA matters more than this blanket, so I, I dropped the blanket, and I'm just now picking it up, and as you can see, I'm doing some stocking stitch on that, and let me tell you, <laughs> it's an ordeal, and I've actually, like, right now, I'm trying to fix a part because I did several rows where I guess I forgot initially whether or not I was knitting or purling and I just went about doing probably the same stitch and then now it looks like I have garter stitch for like three rows so now I'm trying to go back to the purling on the front side because now I have some stocking on the back side it's just look <laughs> it's a mess but I still love this blanket I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet because well my room's not purple First of all, I just thought the purple was rich and pretty, and the silver would have gone good with it, but the silver, as you can see, looks like a lavender in the background. It, it, it's very lavender. I'm like, when I got it, I'm like, this is freaking purple. <laughs> um, if, you ever, if you ever look back to that December unboxing that I did for Christmas, I think I made mention of that, <laughs> that it looked pretty purple. Not only that, my seller, like, jipped me out of what five I don't like I ordered 20 hanks of it and they only sent me 15 and so when I went back and I'm like hey you only sent me 15 they're like no we sent out 20 I'm like bull <laughs> but that never got resolved and I'm just like whatever because I usually don't have an issue with them it's just just not worth it but really it, it really should have been worth it um it's like I paid fifty dollars per package for it. It's just I don't know. Anyway, I wasn't willing to create much of a fight for that at that moment, and I figured I'd have enough. Why not? So I might have enough now. Um, I would have done another section of the gray, but oh well, oh well. So anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm probably gonna fold it up. I don't know. Maybe some lucky person will get it as a giveaway. I, I don't know. I kind of feel some sort of way about giving it away, but. I might. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Um, because like I already made one for my grandmother and she's like, 
it's too warm for like grandma <laughs> it's not too warm but yeah i lay on mine oh my god they make fabulous mattress topper things so like i made my bed i put the fitted sheet on then i put my personal blanket on i made mine the size of a queen bed actually could probably fit on a king bed but we're just gonna it fits on my bed perfectly then i put my loose sheet on top of that and i lay on top of that then i have a quilt over it and my comforter over that and i have a lot of cover even though it all ends up on the floor i don't know what i was thinking but yeah it's so comfortable it's like a cloud my bed is comfortable anyway but i can imagine like if you didn't have a comfortable bed you could like fold it up and just lay on it and be on a cloud a nice cozy cloud but okay i'm probably gonna start rambling now i'm gonna finish eating my lunch and um yeah i, I will see you guys friday friday sounds good and thank you again for supporting my channel um if you're new to my channel go ahead hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on fun little channel chats like this one so you don't miss out on my crochet and knit tutorials so you don't miss out on my art videos and whatever else um I vlog a little bit so yeah happy making guys